All right, everyone, it's Bodyguard again. Here we are going on for heroes. Now, if you're a premium user, you can spawn these whenever you want. But if you're a freemium one, you have to watch an ad per hero. So the first one is going to be Jack. Jack is kind of the diplomat. He, he has a pistol. You know, it's not the greatest. He's got a good bit of health, but he has two abilities, which is what really makes him stand out. So, I'm just gonna put some civilians on. Usual uncontrollable civilians. Now, his first one is Rally. That will attract, it's a toggleable ability. They will be attracted to him until you turn it back off. They will keep following him, so he can just lead them through the city to safety. If we turn it off, you know, they'll stop following. But, he also has the second one, which is Rally. This is where he converts them to Militia. I'd have to tap it a few times, but you'll see he starts arming them up, and they are now controllable militia. Great for, you know, taking out a few zombies there, and you know, quickly giving himself his own little escort, or setting up your own civilian-held areas. Next, we have Jack. Or not Jack. Sorry, I believe that is Marco. Marco is the engineer. So, he has two abilities. He's got a rifle, which does decent damage, He's controlled. You know, he has mines and he has turrets. Now, I do believe we can deploy both of those in the other objects now. So we've got... There, we got his auto turrets. And I believe his mines are under bombs. So those can be set on their own, unlike Jack there. So if we hit the mine, you know, it drops a mine, starts to cool down. And if we go back here, we can set up a turret. It's a nice little turret. And, you know, turret will take out a lot of zombies on their own. You put a zombie there, mine will take them out. The mine does do friendly da fire and damages things like walls and barricades, as well as windows and doors. Good way, you know, some nice little things you can do with that. Personally, I am kind of a horrible person, so I like to leave one militia standing on a mine as the last line of defense, so when he inevitably gets reached by the zombies, he explodes himself. Just something food for thought there. Next we have Frank. Frank is an old hero. To say I have a quick little history lesson, Frank originally started in Zaz, where he was originally kind of a glitch. You know, he was a SWAT, he was a SWAT officer, or riot shield at the time, who was left in a house for kind of sizing purposes. And over time, you know, the develop he was originally removed, but that update broke, and they ended up rolling back, and he just kind of stuck there until I was able, until I kind of worked around, and we got him called Frankie. Trello ended up giving him his first name tag as Frankie, and he kind of came over here. He escaped Zaz County and made it to New Hudson. You can actually find him in a house in the upper left area of the map. That's his own personal house. He comes with a shotgun. He has two abilities. His first one here is Bullet Storm, and he just does a ring of shotgun rounds all around him. The second is Akimbo, where he pulls out two shotguns and dual wields them for 10 seconds. Both of them have a cooldown. He is very much a combat one. So we do that. Massive wave of them. Go over here with Akimbo. You see, he is just blasting away. Very strong character there. Next, we have Zoe. Or Zoe, depending on what you want to prefer. I believe Zoe's in there. Doesn't have any other nicknames, but she is a sniper. She has two abilities, Fat Shot and Grenade. Fat Shot is a piercing shot, and Grenade... Yeah, like the name suggests, and like you saw with the soldiers, she'll throw a grenade, except you can control this grenade on where it lands. So, we're just going to go on paint some zombies over here. Do fat shot, you'll see it goes straight through, clears out that whole line of them. But she's another combat-focused one. Pairs really well with the others. Last, we have... Oh, I swore I had them placed... Yep. Nope, the Jailer. That is the zombie hero. So the Jailer is kind of the start of the cultists. 
getting back into that occult theme with the Hellhounds, he has two abilities. First one, over here that we toggle on, is going to be raise the dead. You know, he starts summoning more and more zombies all around him. You'll see them crawling out of the ground. Very similar to the horde mode. But his ability after that is a map-wide summoning. All the zombies will be drawn into that circle. You'll see anywhere on this, they will just beeline for it. They'll go. They'll start smashing through walls, anything else. So if we just put up a wall, put up a couple walls there, they will slowly work their way through those walls to get there. Or they might make it around, but for the most part, they will keep going. And that, I believe, is until you touch and hold that icon in the middle of that circle, and that deletes it and lets them start roaming around, but you can just, you can do that, you can move it around, you can summon more of them to, to kind of change its position, but just touch and hold and it goes away. Great way to kind of redirect them if they're stuck somewhere, or you just want the whole horde to say, move north. Great way to go on and get them moving in that direction. Then, you know, once you know that they're close enough, you can just press hold and that will delete it. So that's what we got for them. We're going to move on to our vehicles next, and I'll get that uploaded shortly.